In the summer of 1976, 26 kids and one bus driver were coming back on a field trip when a van blocked the road. Three men came and instructed them to steer the bus into a dry riverbed and jump into their van. Not wanting anything to happen to the kids, Ed, the bus driver, remained calm and told them to listen. After 12 hours in the dark boarded up van, they stopped at a rock quarry, only two hours away from where they first started. It was around this time that police had found the school bus hidden and knew what they were dealing with. The three men asked for all their names as they made them climb down it into a truck that soon was being buried 12 feet underground. In the truck, the three men had given them water jugs, snacks, and a small bathroom area. You might be wondering, who are these three men? Well, they all come from rich, prominent families, but had racked up over $300,000 in debt. So for over a year, they had planned this, thinking it would be an easy way to get cash and quick. But they had no idea they chose the wrong bus. The three men called the police station, hoping to get the money, but the lines were backed up, full of family members calling. So they took a nap. 12 feet under, it was dark and flashlights were their only light source. As Ed looked around at the children and could see their fearful faces, he spotted the escape hatch at the top of the truck and knew he needed to step into action. He assisted the help of 14-year-old Mike Marshall, and they gathered mattresses that had been provided for them. Stacking them up, they were able to reach the hatch and wedge a piece of wood through the opening. But. Ed was too big, so the 14-year-old made the brave decision to go through. After he reached a wooden box, and with all his might, he hit as hard as he could, and he got in an opening. But now his mission was to dig himself out of the dirt. Eventually, he felt the warm sun touch his fingers. He made it. One by one, all the others did as well. Eventually, they found a security guard and were put on a greyhound to see their loved ones back home. After the three men woke up from their nap, the TV played, and what they saw was shocking. Their plan that they had been working on had crumbled, and they were soon caught. There's no indication of any harm. We had a lot of crying and begging for their mamas and stuff, but I kept quieting them down. We had food and stuff, so we could um, be down there, and there was restrooms and stuff. I thought they were just hand hers to do something, so I just went along with them.